they are like calling my name. They're like, Elizabeth, come eat us. And I'm like, okay. everybody I am or have just finished getting ready um, it is almost three so about 30 more minutes and Derek will be up um, I had to eat some breakfast this morning I ate a piece of cinnamon toast I yesterday and today have been so sick when I get up um, but I also noticed I've been taking my estrogen and my prenatal vitamins when I get up and I haven't been eating anything and so I think that may be what uh, is helping me not feel so good. So I'm going to try, some people recommended putting crackers next to the bed and eating a few crackers before I even get up. So I'm gonna try that. I was hoping I wouldn't get morning sickness. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't get morning sickness. My mom didn't have it or I don't remember her telling me that she did and my sister didn't have it when she had her little girl so we'll see um but i'm feeling good i feel just like at peace and content which i kind of knew i would feel that way once i ever got pregnant because it's just something that i've wanted for as long as i can remember before derek and i even met or got married i always knew i wanted to be a mom i just love babies and i've always waited to have one of my own and so through all of this infertility stuff and you really start to wonder like am I ever going to have a baby and so when you finally get pregnant it's just like everything is right in the world like you can just breathe a sigh of relief and like just know that your time is coming and I always told Derek that through all of our infertility stuff I kept saying if I knew even if it was going to take us 10 years if I just knew that it was going to eventually work I could calm down and enjoy these next 10 years. Even though it still would have been hard waiting, it would have been easier waiting knowing that eventually it would work. Um, because like I said, I think that was my biggest fear is just you don't know, you have no idea. There are some women who easily get pregnant. There's some women who take only IUIs, who only take Clomid, who take IVF and everything just works. And then there's some women who it just doesn't so I'm trying to stay positive and not think about what could go wrong not think about the fears or the stories that I've heard of well we made it to seven weeks and then it didn't make it or and I keep I told Derek last night I was like every time that I have been worried about something it hasn't happened um, so I really am trying to just stay positive do the things that I can do to make sure that this baby has the best chance to grow. I definitely have a little bit of a belly already. I'm sure that it is just from the progesterone. Um, and I think that I have had it for like the past week. I just all of a sudden noticed it last night when I was getting ready for bed. I think Derek's a little bit excited to buy baby stuff. <laughs> last night I was like, so I'm guessing we've got to wait a little while until we start buying things. And he was like, well, gender, gender neutral stuff we could buy. So I thought that was cute because he's never been one to like love to go baby shopping or love to go look at baby stuff. But it's just different when it's yours. You just want like the best for them and you want to make sure that they have good things and um, so we bought that pack of swaddling blankets I don't know if you guys remember from it may have been the first the day we started IVF maybe not maybe it was a few days after that um, so we may just start picking up a few little odds and ends and just some things to make it fun and keep us excited and treating this situation as though nothing is going to go wrong everything's going to be perfect we're going to see that heartbeat in 11 days and everything is going to be great so um that's how i'm treating it i feel like if i tiptoe around things and i'm like no let's not buy anything for another 11 days to make sure there's a heartbeat like i feel like that gives room for doubt and room for something to go wrong <laughs> So we're just going to keep trucking along and say this baby obviously is strong and wants to be here. So we are so grateful. Um, 
one girl on my Instagram last night said that she had a similar story and she ended up with twins. I kind of was thinking that twins were out of the question for us since I had all of the bleeding and our numbers have been lower so but I don't know she said her numbers were low and she had twins so I guess we'll see. Um, it's gonna be hard to wait 11 days and not know what's going on you know not make sure that the numbers are doubling or if they're more than doubling or a little less or but it's also kind of nice it's kind of like those few days before we took our first beta test that I said you know what we're not going to take pregnancy tests and we were just kind of like in this ignorant bliss of being maybe pregnant and maybe not except that this time we know that we are right now so um the next 11 days I'm just going to enjoy being a mom and being pregnant and everything that comes along with that. I will take the morning sickness all day every day. The progesterone shots are not fun and they are so, my hips are so sore and I've only had three so far. Um, so I have a lot more of that to come but I would take those 10 times a day if I had to if it meant that things were going to work well. So. It's gonna be fun and an exciting day. We get to go out into the world and explore things. So I'm really excited. Hopefully Derek doesn't take too long to wake up. So we made it to downtown Disney. It feels so absolutely amazing outside. I'm feeling good. Feels good to be part of civilization again and not just be in the apartment laying on the bed. So we're gonna go to D Street to look and see what new Vinylmations they to be out in civilization. Yeah, we got our bag of stuff. It's nice to, well, we haven't been to anything Disney in, in gosh, two and a half, three weeks. Yeah. So it's nice to just be out and we're gonna go have dinner with friends. So we're actually gonna have like, we talk to each other and I guess we're humans, but we're <laughs> gonna have human interaction versus just talking to Tiny, so. So that'll be good. But we're gonna go eat. We're gonna open our Vinylmations to see what we got and then we're going back home and I'm gonna go back to bed because <laughs> I'm tired yeah. still. Yeah. You slept a long time. I slept 11 hours last night and I'm still tired. Didn't we just eat dinner? No. Actually, we didn't just eat dinner. It feels like we just ate dinner and I'm hungry already. I feel like I'm hungry all the time, all of the days. You probably are. I am. I've got to get it in check otherwise I'm gonna gain 500 pounds. I'm trying not to just eat cupcakes and fiery hot Cheetos all the time even though that's like my craving food. Those fiery Cheetos are so good but they give me the worst heartburn. But I probably will continue to eat them just because I can't not eat them. They are like calling my name. They're like Elizabeth come eat us. And I'm like, okay. We had a good day. It was nice to get out. We're gonna get out again tomorrow. We're gonna go to Baby's R Us and bye bye baby. Our first trip to baby stores. As parents. As pregnant. Yeah. Not the first trip there. No, <laughs> We've we been bought many those, times. We bought those things too when we were the wrap. Yeah, swaddles. our swaddles. Swaddles. So we're gonna go see. One thing that I do want to start is every week for us each to buy something for the baby, whether it is something useful or just something that we like. Um, another couple did it that we watched uh, for a while when we first started out YouTube. And um, I think they called theirs a hope chest. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to do something kind of like that. And it's just good to kind of buy things as you're going along instead of getting to like eight months and all of a sudden you need everything in the world. So 
plus it's just fun it's fun to like like we've been waiting five and a half years we keep saying like we'll go buy things when we get pregnant like just wait until you get pregnant because there's not really yeah. any point now so now i'm like i'm gonna buy everything <laughs> no not really practically um once we find out the gender <laughs> then i'll buy everything <laughs> So tomorrow should be fun, Sunday should be fun, and then we have about a week and three days until, yeah, ten days until our ultrasound from today, and then I leave to go to my grandma's the day after that, so yep. that will be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to see them. We will see you guys tomorrow when we go on our Bye Bye Baby and Babies R Us trips. I will post a baby haul video to show you guys what all we get. We are five weeks and two days today. Um, we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye. What are you doing? Look at the mesmerizing butter. <laughs>